Next, we are going to talk about the importance of passing. Without a pass, players don't get the opportunity to set or spike a ball. So I believe that passing along with serving are the two most important parts of volleyball. If you can teach every player on your team to pass well, more than likely you're going to win games because ball control and the basics, fundamentals of passing and serving end up winning matches even up to the highest level. I start off every practice working on either partner work passing or certain drills that I'll incorporate with passing. And then I also try to work in passing to every other drill that I do. If we're working on spiking, if the team is capable, I'll try to start it off with a pass and a set before that player gets to hit to make it as game-like as possible. The only difference is if you're starting at a very, very beginning young player, sometimes you need to break each skill down and just focus on that one skill so that they can learn how to do that skill right. When you're working with beginning players, teaching them how to pass a volleyball, I think it's important to break it down and make it as simple as possible. So have them work on the same footwork to the same spot and then shuffling forward for a short pass over and over and over again. I think that repetitiveness helps them actually master that skill versus just putting them out in a game-like situation where they're going to have balls sprayed at them in all different directions. They won't necessarily learn how to do one specific move well. That being said, it's nice to give them a goal or something to work for when they're doing that repetitive drill. So as a group, they're working to get 10 good passes and you keep reminding them who's going to get the next good pass so they're working even harder to see if their next pass can get counted towards the team goal.